Let me show you how you can create a line chart where any data point below the target line is colored as red. The first thing I have to do is to create our prep table here. To get the value for the target, we're going to simply select any of the target value like this. Let's say C18. To get the maximum, we're going to say equal max open parenthesis and going to highlight the volume column like this. And to get the minimum value, we're going to say min function and select the volume column like this. The difference here is equal to max minus the min value and the ratio would be target divided by the difference and hit enter. If this is not in percentage, select the cell, press control 1 on the format cell here. You're going to select percentage with zero decimal place and click OK and you'll get something like that. Once that's done, we're ready to draw our line chart. Place your cursor anywhere on your data set, press control A to select your whole data set and you go to insert on your ribbon and select a line chart like this. At this point, you can resize and reposition your line chart. Once it's done re resizing and reposition, let's go ahead and remove our horizontal line here and change the title to volume. After that, go ahead and select your target line chart like this and press Ctrl-1 to open your format data series on the right hand side or a pop-up. Then you go to line and fill and over here we're going to say solid line color it to some sort of a gray and the width is up to you I like 0 0.75 points and then my dash type would be a dash like this and it's gonna look something like this when it's done now go ahead and select the line chart here and press Control 1 to open your format data series again go to line and fill over here you're gonna scroll all the way down and put a check on smooth line so that the the line looks like a curve a wavy or whatever you want to call it after that, go to lines and select gradient line and then you go ahead and delete every other gradient stop that you have here except the two of them like this. Let's assign some colors to our gradient stops. The one on the left hand side, we're going to assign a color of green and on the right hand side, we're going to assign the color of red. Now to reposition this gradient stop, you know, previously we calculated the ratio of 59 here. We're going to assign 59 to our right gradient and for our left gradient we're going to assign 59 as well and then both of the gradient stops should align with each other like this and after that job complete